um, but I did want to just show you a quick MMW test, liter per minute test, um, so you can see what the cell can do. Okay, Go Hydro 2 back here. I want to show you the uh, power supply up close. That's my Mastec 30 amp, uh, 30 volt dual power supply. You can see it's running at 30 amps on the left and looks like 13 volts on the right. It's dropped down a little bit. My electrolyte's a little bit high. But uh, we'll do an MMW test anyway on this, a liter per minute test. Um, so the next picture you'll see, I'll pan away and we'll do a quick MMW. Liter meter testing bottle, which is a one liter smart water bottle. I chose this size because it fits well in my little acrylic uh, HHometer. And I um, just wanted to let you know that it is a one liter bottle right here. And I fill it to the very top when I do my testing. So I'm going to pause here and put it back in the HHometer. Just let you see that's a smart water bottle. W test, I want to show you guys my uh, <coughs> meter liter or uh, HHometer <coughs> that many others are using. I just made mine out of acrylic. I've got some um, knob, acrylic knob buttons there at the base which gives me the gap underneath that plate there, that acrylic plate is my 90 degree uh, barb fitting. And then you can see it extends up through the acrylic and through the acrylic tubing here. And then in the center is another acrylic tube which feeds the HHO up to the bottle which goes into there. And then I have my HHO line out from the bubbler teed off so I can um, let the air out and then I plug this end up right here coming by the clamp there to uh, force the HHO through the water. I'll do that right now so you can kind of see the water start to bu bubble up through the uh, straw in the center. So right now I'm going to close off the line and you can start to see HHO entering the, the um, HHometer from the bubbler which is right there at the top. See the bubbler line comes out, feeds into the T, part of the T goes to the bubbler, the other T goes into my hand, which right now I'm just putting my thumb over it. As you can see, then it stops. All right. So um, what I did with my bottle, I wanted to show you a little bit how I designed it. It's pretty simple and a lot of you already know this, but for those who don't, it's kind of handy to know. I cut the neck off so it could sit flat on the bottom of the tester um, for more accurate measurements. And I just drilled holes out of each side, three holes, to allow it to, um, for allow the uh, HHO to exit, I mean, excuse me, for the water to exit as you um, stop the HHO, you need to let the water or the air force back down and the water go in. So I'll kind of demonstrate that right now. Okay, now the bottle's in the HHometer. By the way, this is a very accurate way to measure your HHO output. Um, flow meters, I'm told, aren't that accurate, and I would probably agree because of the amount of PSI. We don't produce that much PSI in these HHO uh, generators. So using a um, bottle device like this is really good, very accurate. Many people use it. You can either, either use this method where you have a straw going up in it, or some people submerge the bottle and then displace the uh, water with the HHO. Either way works and both are very accurate. The main thing is you want to make sure you get your liter measurement on the bottle correct and make sure you use the right size bottle and um, to make sure your, your measurements are accurate. So I'm going to force this down and you can see the water holes. The holes that I drilled out will allow the water to re-enter the bottle as it goes down to the bottom of the HHometer. And as you can see I removed the neck so it will go all the way down to the base right there. Okay, so that's about it on the um, HHometer. So I'm going to give it a um, test here in a second. Okay, before I start, I want to give you quickly um, one la couple more things here. Um, just the way the cell is wired right now. We have five power plates, three neutrals between each power plate. It's a 16 plate cell, I mean, excuse me, 21 plate cell. Here's a negative, positive, negative, positive and then we go to a negative at the end. There's a pretty even spread of voltage and amperage across these plates. Um, I want to show you quickly um, the spread of amperage on the two power plates. It divides it fairly evenly. Okay, back here I want to do a quick amperage test on each wire. Give you a show with my clamp meter. 
uh, how many amps is uh, being carried by each power wire. Okay, right now you can see this one. The first power wire is carrying 15.4. The second positive wire to the plate is carrying 16.2, which is a very good spread of the amperage across the wires, um, which is good because you don't want to carry more than 18 amps across these terminals because they tend to heat up. So that's a good thing. All right, next test, I'm going to go ahead and run that HHO-ometer and do an MMW test and report back. Thank you. Okay, before the test, I want to get a close-up of my power supply. You can see on the left is the amperage at 30.8. On the right is the voltage at 13.67, somewhere in that range. So here we go. All right, I'm going to run my stopwatch, and I'm going to run one liter. Uh, test MMW test on the cell. Uh, this Cell's approximately 100 degrees. It's been running a few minutes. Of course, it's a brand new cell. Hasn't broken in yet, but I do want to get an idea what the 21 plater can put out. Again, it's running 30 amps, 13.6 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and run the test now. So I'm going to get the stopwatch in the screen here so you can see it. Hopefully you can watch and see it go as I go. One, two, three, go. All right, so you can see the HHometer in the back moving. going up as we speak. Okay, and mark. Well, a pretty good accurate measurement there. We got uh, 30 seconds for one liter, which is approximately two liters a minute. Um, and I'll get an MMW for you and get back to you. As you can see, the bubbles are now exiting the bottom of the bottle. So that's what I've been finding mostly. I get about two liters per minute on these cells until they're broken in at 30 amps and 13.8 volts. Your voltage may go up in your automobile to over 14, even higher, a little bit higher than that. And you can also run these cells at a higher amperage, but you need to make sure they get air movement so they can be cooled. Anyway, that's my um, liter meter test here on my 21 plate cell. Thanks for watching.